Okay, here we have my VW bus, Dwayne. We're gonna do a video tour. Um, this door handle, the sliding door handle, uh, is broken off because the door is stuck and the owner before me tried to force it open and broke the handle off. Um, color, so you can tell, this camera doesn't have the best color. It's sort of a brownish, reddish, maroon. Um, Got a little bit of a Bondo spot right here. It needs a little work. It goes back to here. Not too bad though. <clears throat> here is the engine. It's in pretty good shape. I just got $200, $250 worth of work done on it. Um, new battery. Um, just changed the oil. Burns a little bit of oil. Not too bad though. Um, yeah, what else? There is a pad that goes back here in the back. That's just my box of boxes that I got all the electrical stuff. Now, oh, yeah, that's another thing in the engine. I got all the uh, electrical replaced distributor wires, distributor cap, rotor, um, spark plugs. And then I got the points gapped and everything. And spare tires here. Looking good. And yeah, good cover for it. The pad that goes back here is kind of worn out, so I'm in the process of getting a new one and getting one and getting a chunk of foam upholstered, you know. Here's this. It goes in there, it's my blanket. Whatever. Okay. This outlet is not hooked up. It would cost about $15, though, for a whole new setup. Uh, louvered window. This thing is pretty nice. The handle is broken off on the inside. The little turn crank thing for the inside is stripped. Um, but that's $0.99. Cents. Um, floor is just a little bit dirty. Not too bad. Just filled the brakes yesterday. It does need to have the brakes um, bleated, but I'll get that done soon. <laughs> no radio. The heat does come up from the uh, defrost, though. That's a bonus. Don't get that out of very many old VWs. Um, glove compartment's in good shape. Door panels could be replaced. Nothing major, though. It's not a necessity. We do have some pretty nice carpet back here, though, on top of the rubber pad. That's a lot easier to clean. You don't have to get a mop bucket back here. You just can bring the vacuum. Um, Z-bed is looking good. Got the closet there. This is the inside of the door. It needs a new panel. And the door just needs to be unstuck and it'd be ready to go. Take the track off and grease it up. Um, down here, this pad... All, all the upholstery needs to be redone in here. Um, this is where you'd keep your chains. Um, the jack is down here. <clears throat> That's the electric setup there. Pretty pretty simple. Um, just comes in from the outside. It's like running an extension cord through that hole pretty much. And splitting it right there. And putting a switch box to turn it on and off right there. Back on. Um, there's a little bit of storage down there. Um, dome light. Dome light works fine. So, all the headlights work. Everything like that. Bed folds down. Good and easy. Just like that. Um, Super comfortable, and I remade this table in shop class here. Hang on. This table just comes up here. Ready to go. 
Good little camping table. And there's storage down here. Got some oil down there. I could scrub that out. I'll probably do that here soon. Um, what else? What else do you want to see? I got some fuzzy covers on these seats. But looks pretty nice still though. I just like the fuzz better than the leather. It's a lot more comfortable. It doesn't get quite as scalding hot in the summertime. That's why I bought this. This seat could be reupholstered. It's a little worn under there. Um, just a little bit down to the foam. That is my new gas pedal. I have some adjustments to do on the back of that though. Nothing major. But, uh... Alright. Now I'm going to start it up. Chain down here. Got Bob Marley and a bottle opener. Aloha, little jigger thing. That's cool. And the wipers work. They need blades though. Um, this is all a pretty good deal for 1,300 bucks. The price will go up as I fix this stuff though. So make your arrangements quick. If you're real interested, and uh, I'll take trades for car audio systems, you know, particularly Rockford Fosgate, I prefer that. Especially ones that would fit a Volkswagen, because that's what I plan to do is replace this one with a one in a little better shape. Um, it would fit these holes. These holes are about, I don't know, four inches, five inches by five inch can cut bigger holes and stuff though. Um, and that would mount down there. Um, stereo holes, pretty standard size. And yeah, headliner is a little rough, but got a little bit of this here, a little bit of the finish coming off right there. Um, the This dome light doesn't, uh, the bulb is burnt out in it, so it does work, but uh, just not hooked up right now and it's pretty solid though it's not falling apart and yeah louvered window just cranks open with this little guy right here you can put a screwdriver on that or get a little crank out of any motorhome you've got so yeah oh and I do have a manual I can I can shoot, I don't know, I'll probably keep the manual, it's got my points and stuff on it, but, yeah, that's Dwayne, oh, and the e-brake needs to be hooked up, um, one of the cables is disconnected, but, yeah, that's the van, pretty good deal for $1,300, um, I've put in, a good amount of work on it in the past couple weeks so jump on it quick 